There is no question that Gear 5 is one of the most extraordinary abilities in One Piece. Well, not only in One Piece, but in the whole anime scene. Oda once again proves what a phenomenal artist he is by surprising One Piece fans with a design that no one expected. Personally, I thought we were going to see a Ruffy with a pointy and angular design that might even have flames. So basically, an epic Ruffy what almost everyone in the community wished for. Even if the Gear 5 with the design and also the abilities doesn't really reflect the characteristics epic, I'm very happy about the result of Vano and Ruffy's development all in all. And if you are pleased with this video, then feel free to leave a like and a comment to support this channel. I'm new in this scene, so it would help me out a lot. Thank you very much. The Gear 5 has catapulted Ruffy to a new power level. He was able to defeat the strongest creature in the One Piece world, Kaido himself. This makes him one of the strongest characters in the world that Aishiro Oda has created. And here I ask you, what was your first thought after the fight against Kaido about the Gear 5? Mine was, who is going to stop Ruffy now? Because if you don't delve into the thoughts, then this question seems absolutely understandable. I mean literally, the strongest creature in One Piece was defeated and Ruffy has the Nika fruit with which he can do anything he wants. However, if you think about it a little more logically, it is of course impossible that Ruffy is already the strongest. So who is stronger than Ruffy right now? After like 25 years of One Piece, Oda now introduces a faction randomly in the manga that sets the new standard here. But stay tuned for that later in this video. Oda gives us a little taste of what the power level in One Piece can reach for a measure. He showed us one, just one blow from Shanks. And that brings us to the first character that could defeat Ruffy in Gear 5. Before we continue with this sword, write in the comments 4 characters that you think could defeat Ruffy at the moment. And as simple as it sounds, it's not easy to find 4 characters, go ahead and write. Shanks has only been playing an important role again for a few months. Before that, for 23 years, we only saw him smile stupidly every 4 years. And now, finally, he shows his power. Better said, Oda shows us what true strength is. In this scene I saw Oda screaming in front of my eyes as he rose with open arms. You think you One Piece fans have seen the approximate maximum strength in One Piece with Big Mom and Kaido? Here is a little taste of true strength. Kid had to suffer and is now chilling somewhere at the bottom of the sea if he wasn't rescued. I think we all agree that Oda definitely wanted to show how powerful Shanks actually is with this storyline and that the boys still have long way to go. I'm sure you had Shanks in your list as well, would be strange if not. Well, I have longly thought about whether I should include this faction in the video and have finally come to the conclusion to do it. The Holy Knights. They were mentioned for the first time in chapter 1083 and the fact that they are introduced only now confirms that they are one of the end 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 game levels. Most likely they will be the faction or characters that will make it most difficult for our straw hats in terms of combat power. Even Monkey D Dragon mentioned that the war won't start until the holy knights are mobilized. And wow, that must mean a lot. And yes, of course, you have to differentiate a little bit here. If we assume that there are 9 holy knights, it is very unlikely that a single one could defeat Luffy. That would mean that there are 9 characters above emperor level and in principle they could take over the whole world. One alone shouldn't be able to stop Ruffy, but I included the group as a whole because they were presented as a whole. 
I will make a more detailed video about the holy knights and what they might think, so be curious about that. Next I have another faction, but I'm a little more careful about it. I will simply throw the term in the room and say the admirals. Here I would like to divide it but in two stages. One Arcano where I'm 100% sure that he would defeat Ruffy right now. I find it simply fascinating how one year ago everyone thought that Akainu will be the absolute final opponent in One Piece. And in the meantime he has to get in line with Insama, Blackbeard and the Holy Knights Akainu has really moved a bit into the shadows. Nevertheless, many should be aware of what he is capable of and I do not necessarily want to go into the Akainu power level topic. There are already so many videos on it. But what I like to discuss with you are the other admirals like Green Bull, Kizaru and Fujitora. With these characters I am unsure for years because Oda sometimes make it seem that they are not really super powered but on the other hand they are built up for the end game so you think they must be at least as strong as an emperor. Just logically seen from the power distribution they would have to be on emperor level because otherwise there would be a no balance between pirates and marine. Therefore with these three admirates I let the wars begin in the comments. What do you think? Blackbeard that this character is currently one of the strongest in One Piece is no question. Oda has been building him up since the beginning of One Piece and definitely has a lot of work ahead of him. Oda is building up a lot of characters in parallel and I wonder which particular role Blackbeard will play. In combination with his even soon very likely third devil fruit, as of now it's safe to assume that he's being prepared for the end game and definitely is stronger than Ruffy himself with his gear 5. Mihawk. Mihawk is the rival of Shanks and since we have seen what Shanks is capable of, we have to be aware of how strong Mihawk has to be. Shanks finished Kit with one punch and Mihawk is said to be a match for Shanks. Oda even said that his sword skills suppress Shanks. So we can definitely put Mihawk on the list. Feel free to post in the comments what you think about Mihawk because I know that opinions differ here. Imsama, although we know nothing about Imsama, this character has a presence that makes Everyone freeze. She or he has to have the strongest conqueror haki. We can't say much about her strength right now, but no doubt she will be one of the strongest character in all of One Piece. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe and also write a comment to support me and I excuse my English skills because I'm not from England or America, so my native language is not English, but I hope you still enjoy the videos. Thank you very much.